<laughs> welcome to What's Going On. I'm Robert L. Mentor Jr., host. And I'm your co-host, Kelly Jolly. And we'd like to welcome you, our viewing audience, to What's Going On. And if you missed this show, you can go to the Beck Culture Center, uh, located right here in Knoxville, Tennessee, on Dandrick Avenue, and ask for the award-winning show, What's Going On. And we always recommend that you check out the current exhibits and become a member. Yeah, and if you uh, desire to uh, have a wedding or receptions, you can always rent the Avon Rollins Great Hall. Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, school's in, and we advise you to drive safely out there. Look out for our children. Mm -hmm. They'll be walking the streets, going to school, so let's drive safely and observe the, the, the speed zone. Oh, them tickets now, 200 bucks, baby. Really? Yeah, if you get caught now in school zone, that's 200 bucks. And suddenly take your license. That's right. Because yeah. it's dangerous. It's you, don't dangerous. Wanna, yeah. you don't want that on your conscience that you didn't yeah. observe a law and something happened to yeah. somebody's child. And don't be tailgating either. Woo, worst thing in the world, I see a tailgate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What and about tailgating at the game? Oh, football time in Tennessee. We're getting ready to tailgate, and we're going to have uh, a big tailgate party. For, at AE? Yes, Lord. We, uh, on August the 30th, I hope this show airs in time enough to so that you can come by and sample the goods. We're going to have a full course meal before the game. But you do this before every, every home, home game. game. Every home game. Okay. And then on the bus trips, uh, you know, us old folk, we can't drive too far, you know. Mm -hmm. So we carry a bus at every, every away game, and we serve a full course meal on the bus, too. Now, on the short trips, we just give, uh, uh, you know, coats and Mm -hmm. Chips, mm -hmm. but on long trips we full course meal. Mm -hmm. I need to get on one of those bus trips. No, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to a football game since I moved to East Tennessee. You, know, you need to come to that first home game then. Uh, it'd be the first game for uh, uh, Jeff Phillips, who oh, really? uh, graduated of Austin East High School, mm -hmm. only 28 years old, mm -hmm. played at uh, UTC Chattanooga. And uh, he did play arena ball, and he played football overseas. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I might get into some football this year. I know that um, my alma mater, South Carolina State University, is playing yeah. North Carolina A&T in Atlanta for a classic. I know. Yeah, and I've already, my, I have a, friends that went to A&T, mm -hmm. and, you know, of course, her husband and, and my husband and I, we all graduated from state, so we're all bulldogs. Oh, look at that. And I, we've already started on Facebook. Yeah, the, the band. Can't wait there. to see you. Can't wait to see you lose your Aggie pride at the football game. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, of course, had her response to it. Yeah. But um, I know the Bulldogs will come through at the game and the, and the band, too, because, mm -hmm. of course, we're all band people, so we go for the band. Right. Yeah, the band's going to be there. And uh, I'll probably be down there for that game. I oh, think, really? I think they carry, I think a group is going to be carrying a bus down for that oh, I'll yeah. let you know uh, about that. I think uh, our Elks group is going to carry a bus down for that That's game. That's even That's better. Yeah, I, so I'll let you know about that. Okay. They're talking about carrying one down. Yeah. And uh, Will Bard and the Will Bard Project in the Kelly Jolly. We're playing um, for the Knox Heritage. Um, they're hosting a summer supper. Okay. And um, Summer supper. Yep, right. summer supper, and also we're doing a concert in Athens at the Arts uh, Art Center okay. in Athens. Um, they are offering a free concert for all the all their members who buy season tickets. Okay, and uh, they were on our show. Uh, the Art one, Council. The, 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 the young man Tim Hughes. Yes. Right. We just played a concert in Athens. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. How was that? It was really fun. We had a good time. I sold some CDs. That's always good. Well, it's always good if you're selling CDs. Oh, yeah. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm All right. And I know you were talking about off the set that you are getting, you and Will are getting ready to go back to Maroon Run. Well, we're not getting ready soon. Not yet. Not this year. But oh, next year. Next year is our year to go back to Japan. So oh, okay. I'm just looking for opportunities and trying to figure out where we want to go. Do we want to stay in Tokyo or Sapporo, but of course we have to go to Marura. Oh, yeah. I have to see my Japanese daddy. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all my friends. Yes, no, well, you know what? We've got some guests up in here that I already done got down. I know, he's they already... That took me way this, back. We, I guess you can put this in the category of a foot stomping. Oh, I yeah, foot stomping, foot stomping, foot stomping. Yes, Lord, I love them. I, I mean, they remind me of the uh, WNOX... Uh, the Midday Merry-Go-Round, Laura mm -hmm. Blanchett, uh, the Home and Farm Show with Cass Walters. Yeah, and, and people uh, probably think from this description that you're giving that you're talking about some very 
um, seasoned, seasoned veteran, veteran golden year musician. Yeah. But actually, we're talking about two months. They, they told me. I said two what? months. Oh no, they're older than two months. <laughs> That's what they told me. Said they only been no, together. They've been together. Oh, months. I thought you were trying to say they were two months old. No, they've been together two months. Oh, yeah. But they sound like seasoned veterans. I know. They do. And I, I met them, um, some of the members at the Carpetbag Theater's Youth Theater Festival. Mm -hmm. And you might have seen them perform at the Kumba Festival this year. Okay. Um, on Market Square, the opening of the Kumba on Market, Market Square. But today our guest is the band Subtle <coughs> Clutch. Subtle Clutch. And we're going to let them introduce themselves, but we'd like to say welcome to what's going welcome on. Welcome to what's going on, <laughs> Subtle Thank Clutch. Yeah, yeah, now tell us, uh, before you introduce it, how did y'all come up with that name? Somebody was telling me off the set. Now, how That's did, a good question. Yeah. Oh, Who was that uh, driving along and okay. had a, had I was a with, vision? I was with my <laughs> older brother, and we were at Taco Bell. We just left Taco Bell. We were in our tacos. We were headed off to a band practice. And I said, Justin, we need a name for the band because he's always good at thinking up that stuff. And he said, Growing Pains. And I said, No. <laughs> Somebody some, already got that. Some punk rock band has already taken that. And he was like, What about Subtle Clutch? And so it just kind of stuck and we rolled with it. So. All right. And what's, and what's his name? Justin. Yeah. Justin Badgett. Yo, oh, give him a shout out. We got to give him a shout out. He had a, he, he had a vision in the car. Yes, he did. <laughs> a flashback. I mean, a flashback, didn't it? <laughs> so All right, good. Let's introduce yourself. Well, I'm, I'm Briston Maroney. And how old are you? I'm 15 years old. Okay. Wow. I'm Devin Badgett, and I'm 14. Wow. Jonathan Bailey, and I'm 14. Eli Fox, I'm 14. Ooh wee. <laughs> yeah, that's young. That's young, but you know what? People will be shocked by how well they play, even for their young age. Yeah, I mean, they were playing just to tune up. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed. You're talking about. Uh, you know, the, uh, have you ever watched the Smothers Brothers and mm -hmm. all that group? Mm -hmm. When they, ooh, uh, uh, you talking about what other group that came out of Knoxville West High School, the Everly mm -hmm. Brothers? Mm -hmm. Wow, man. So what instruments do you all play, and how long have you been playing them? Um, I, I play the guitar for the most part, and I've been playing since I was probably six or seven. I come from a really musical family. So oh, okay. I'm yeah, probably... I'm probably the least experienced player. Um, <laughs> I play ukulele and guitar. I've been playing those both for yeah, that's my man. He played almost, ukulele. almost two years now. Yeah, okay, I remember when I got my first ukulele. The Oscar Gosby ukulele. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it had them finger things on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I play mandolin for the most part. Okay. I've been playing for about two, two to three years. Okay. So, I play banjo, dobro, and harmonica. All right, let's give some names. Y'all didn't get no names. You got to get a name, man. Let's put the names on there. Your mom and dad be done call me up. <laughs> <laughs> no names. Say your names. Yeah, yeah. You say your names. Right. You never said your names. You said instruments. Oh, Jonathan Bailey. All right. Fox. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Get them names out there. <laughs> give them some shout out. Uh, Y'all want to give a shout out to your mom, dad, and everything before we get started? Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle clutch. So, what made you all interested in playing this? The music that you play, and what type of music you play? Well, um, we we call ourselves kind of a, a folk bluegrass band. Um, mm -hmm. We all of us grew up. You know, with with parents and siblings that listen to that kind of music, and okay. in in Knoxville, it seems to be a pretty you know common thing, and it's, it seems to be a pretty happy town, and it's kind of a happy genre of music, I'd say. So, we all just kind of fell into it, yeah. fell in love with it. And where have you all played so far? Uh, well, I'll we uh, the they, yeah, I'll say yes, the Kumba, mm -hmm. and then I was I was out of town for that one, but um, we've been playing at Market Square at all the farmers farmers markets, and um, okay. Eli had a. A benefit concert for WDVX, and we all played together. Wow! Yes, minus me. Minus, minus John. John. Yeah. Yeah. You all are pretty busy. So, what's what's it like busking? That's busking on Market Square that you all do. What's that like busking? What what has your experience been like in Market Square? Okay. Um, I guess I'll tell. Um, people are usually surprised when they come around the corner. I get like there's just surprising looks when they come around the corner and they see that we're kids. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's a helping factor. Um, cause you don't, you don't see a lot of, you don't see a lot of kids no. on the side of the street playing instruments and seeing, singing. And, um, it's, it's really fun. Last time we were out there, we played for a long time and it was during, it was during the, um, farmer's market. That was really fun, but I was exhausted out there. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's I very guess so. tiring yeah. mm -hmm. on that song. Yeah. How do you choose songs to play? Um. Or to learn? Right. <laughs> we all just kind of 
talk to each other yeah, and man. throw I'll out ideas. ideas. No, okay. Yeah, like sir. every time we practice, we all bring like two or three yeah. songs to the board and we just now, cut down. And when do y'all go to practice? Y'all go to somebody's garage and just, yeah, so we go to just, just plunk it up. Yeah. 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 yeah, all right. That's it's what I'm talking about. Just just run them out the house. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Uh-huh. Y'all go to his garage and just. Yes, sir. Now, anybody writing? Yes, sir. Um, I'm I'm doing most of the writing at, at this point, but Jonathan's contributed some stuff also. But okay. Yes, sir. We're kind of getting started on that. Yeah, we're getting right. some originals right. in there. I understand you've been got a single out. Or? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, What's just, the name of that? That's called Railroad. Um, Railroad. We just released it. It's for sale on iTunes right now. So you okay. Can get, get on the computer and get that. Um, yes, sir. So. Well, y'all don't hit that number tonight. Yes, I mean today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Do you all have a website or anything? We're working on a website right now, but we've website. got we've got a Facebook page and YouTube mm-hmm. and, a, and a YouTube also. So. so people can find you online, yes, on YouTube right. and Facebook. And Facebook, just under the name Soil Clutch. Oh right. my goodness! Three hundred likes. Yeah, I don't went social media on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many likes? Three hundred. Three hundred likes. Woo! Little little like three fifteen, yeah, about three fifteen. Yeah, Lord, uh, well, are you working on a CD now? Yes, sir. Yeah, we are. We're writing songs. Right oh, now. my goodness. Well, I can't wait till that thing come out. I'm okay. telling you, it's going to be something. It's going to be, as the young folks say, it's going to be off the chain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't want to take up too much time because I know people are excited to hear you all. Yeah. You're going to play a little bit for us. So yes, we're right. going to just turn it over to you and all right. wait for you to introduce the selection. Then go ahead and get all started. Right. Well, all right. Then, so they're going to get they're going to get started. We're going to make room for them. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Sato Clutch. Knoxville's on. Glad they were able to make it here today. Yes, mercy. All right, um, this first song we're going to play is the the single railroad. So. All right. All right. Your original. Yeah, yeah. This, this is an this original is song. One, two, All right. Two, Yeah. 
that single now. Yes, sir. That one's available on iTunes right now. Yeah. All right. The social media got it. You got to go to social media to get that yes, sir. All right. All right. Just head on. Just do the next one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give, us one, give us another one now. Well, this one's, this one's a cover. This isn't the one that we were really um, This is a song called Live and Die by the Avery Brothers. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. 